Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in with another battle replay here. We are on Napoleon Total War. We do have a 2v2 land battle here. No rule. Well, there's one rule. You can't have any unicorns. But that's the only rule. That is the only rule on this battlefield here today, boys. So, uh, you're going to see a lot of artillery. We do have two French forces over here. Take a look at them first. France here, one being commanded by Dan. And he has brought four units of the artillery. Aripied, I think. Uh, two 12-pounder foot artillery. One grand battery of the convention. One howitzer, two old guard, and his general staff. And then we have the second uh, France force over here being commanded by Ragnar. And he has brought six units of Young Guard, four Voltgiers or Voltagers, one unit of the Guard Seamen. <laughs> and General is a staff. He does also have two units of the Carabiners and two Grenadiers de Cheval. Moving across the battlefield, who is taking a ton of damage. I believe they're taking a ton of damage. Oh, no, not really. Not yet. Not. Ooh, actually, no, that took a little bit of damage. Down to 32 left. Wow. Uh, but we do have a Prussia here, I think. I don't know who's commanding who. We do have an Ottoman Empire and a Prussia. Uh, Prussia has brought eight units of Musketeers, four units of the Seilsian Schlutzen. General's a staff. He also has four, uh, two units of the seven bound howitzers and four units of dragoons. And then we do have the Ottoman Empire here. Uh, he has brought four units of the Nizan, Nizan one set it. Infantry, I think. Uh, three units of the Ottoman Rifles, Generals, and Bodyguard. Four units of the 18-pounder Foot Artillery. Four units of the Chaternal Camel Gunners. And two units of the Sipahai, Sipahai Cavalry. So, all right. There you go. I don't do a whole lot of Napoleon battles, so I'm sorry if I did mess up any of those units' names. Uh, but, yeah. There's going to be a lot of artillery here. Now, I was told that this battle was really 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 close so hopefully you guys do end up sticking around to the end here so you guys can see how close this really was even with all of this artillery on the battlefield ottoman empire immediately rushing all of his infantry and rifles forward probably going to try and stay in maybe some of the defilades here to try and stay away from the uh the shots there from the french artillery on that side pressure back over here still kind of hiding behind the hills I don't really know. I don't think he's got a whole... Well, he's got some cover. He's got some cover. We do also have the Musketeers down on the end here. He has actually brought up a unit of his 7-pound howitzers way up on top of the hill here. They are wide open for shots. Ooh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Ooh! Wow, right over the top there. Right over the top. Uh, two units of the, the Dragoons here. And I think Ragnar actually did move. Yeah, he brought two units of his cavalry over onto this far side. Actually, he brought actually all four. I just saw that. He brought all four units of his cavalry over onto Dan's left side here. But big shots again. Still coming in onto this artillery. Has not killed any of the artillery just yet. But I'm imagining he's probably going to start getting some kills here. Let's take a look at the infantry that's rushing across the middle here. So far, the, uh, the uh, Slicing Schutzen. Four presser, not taking any loss. Oh, nope, this unit just took two. We do have another unit of the seven-pound howitzer here just starting to line up. Ooh, did that? Oh, I thought he lost something. Did he fire straight into the ground there? I'm not really sure what happened right there, but he definitely fired. Let's see where he's going to shoot at. I guarantee he's going to... Oh, they lost one. Yeah, they are firing straight over here into all of this French artillery. Let's see anything making contact. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Has he lost anything? Ooh, he lost some of the, uh, he lost some of the crew. Down four men out of the crew there. Let's get back over here, see what the Ottoman Empire is doing now. This side is going to be a little weak on the front line over here. We only have two units of Voltigers or Voltagers over here. He's actually going to start bringing, moving some of his, uh, Young Guard and the unit of the Guard Seaman over there as well. But the Ottoman Empire, once they get up onto this hill, if he crests up onto this hill, ooh, look at this. Very nice line up there. He's got his rifles in the front line in that skirmish formation. And they're going to be able to start firing up onto the hill there, into the Voltiers there. Getting some good kills. Already killed six of them. Let's see how many have lost out of the rifles here. 
three out of the rifles, one out of the actual infantry itself. Looks like the infantry is maybe going to go in for a bayonet charge here. That could be quite destructive. Uh, this unit has actually lost 11 men. He's getting his infantry over here very slowly, though. He's got the guard seamen over on this side. They may actually be able to get some good flanking shots in if any more of this infantry decides to move forward. Gunners still kneeling down, getting some shots. Let's see how many losses they've taken. Still, oh, this actually unit still has nine now. So he is starting to take some losses. This unit here only losing one. The rifles down, I'm sorry, the infantry down here at the bottom of the hill. Look at how close this shot is. Oh, they're moving up just a little bit more. Nope, they're going for a bayonet charge. Going up the hill, going to try and get into these Volkiers. Volkiers are going to meet them, or at least going to stand their uh, stand their line. Still getting some more shots in, but here comes that charge. Charge over on this side as well, up the hill. It's going to be a little bit to get in there, but they will finally get involved in the charge. Big time charge there. You are, wow, they are losing pretty quickly. Actually, the infantry is losing. Pr oh, wait, no, no, not on this side. Not on this side. Both gears, oh, wow, get cut down. Really getting murdered. Let's see what Prussia is doing over here in the middle. We have a lot of case shot coming down from some of the artillery there. Look at that. Case shot coming down. Big old explosions hitting these Prussian front lines. Oh, we got a unit running. Is that the Volt Gears on the end? I believe it was. Yes, it was. Volt Gears actually completely shattering. Now, he does have this unit of Young Guard right there. Going to be able to get some good shots in onto this infantry unit. Maybe they're going to get another charge in. Not sure what he's going to do. Let's swing down over on the other side. We do have the French Cavalry. He has moved out on the side. He's actually got one unit of these Volt Gears down here as well. Being com they're being covered by two units of the Grenadiers of Deschavel. Uh, his other two units of cavalry are where? Where are his other two units of cavalry? Where did they go? Are they back here? I didn't see where they ended up running to. Oh, did I miss out on something here? Did I miss out on something? There's Dragoons back there. Wow, they took some losses too. My God. I do not see those uh, two units of Dragoons again. I'm not sure where they went. Hmm. Oh, not sorry, not Dragoons. Not Dragoons, the Carabiners. Carabiners, yeah, this is a little... I don't cover Napoleon a whole lot. I'm missing out on some stuff. I have a feeling I'm missing out on some stuff. Let's see back over here. Did he make it back over here? No, he is not. But we do see some more of the Ottoman Empire coming out of the woods. Both gears moving forward. Going to maybe try and get some shots in into those, um, into those musketeers. But these guys right here are getting absolutely annihilated by the case shot. Oh, my God. Big explosions right over the top. The Cilician suits in the unit is getting absolutely murdered. Down to 36 men left in that unit. Still don't know where those other two units of cavalry went. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got some Ottoman Empire cavalry coming in onto the back lines of these final unit of the Young Guard right there. Ooh, this is close. Sipahee cavalry are taking on the Carabiners. Oh, Carabiners made it all the way back over here. Oh, okay. All right, that's good. That's good. He does have one of his cavalry units over here. I'm guessing the other unit might be already gone off the battlefield. Uh, but this is going to be a tough fight here. Young Guard are losing. They're actually routing away one of the units of the rifles. But I think the Sipahi cavalry might end up taking this fight. We'll have to see. They actually are losing again. No. They are losing this fight. Sipahi cavalry down to 34. The Young Guard here with 35. So let's see. Maybe, maybe France will be able to hold that line. But over here, still more just massive destruction here in the center prussia is going to take a chance here he's going to try and press up the hill maybe get into the artillery there now this french force over here does have some infantry in reserve he's got two units of old guard back here hopefully he starts pressing them forward actually another unit of old guard, old guard over here as well so then maybe they will be able to start pressing up some forces be able to protect their artillery artillery here not looking too good Already down all of the... Oh, God. Ow. Well, there goes the last cannon. Only one crew member left in there. But here they come. Russia's going to try and rush this hill. Hopefully they... Oh, are they going to get another shot loaded? Come on. Get that K shot loaded. Oh, it's coming. Oh, my God. Absolute destruction there. Back over on this side. France looks like they're going to rush down for a charge. Or maybe they're going to line up and try and get a quick shot. Maybe they're going to be able to look at how close quarters of combat this is. Oh, big hit there by artillery. Close quarter combat here. And there we go. A charge down the hill for the young guard into the musketeer front line. 
And they are getting destroyed. What a big charge down. Now, this is still a problem over here. Ottoman Empire still has his cavalry up over here. Another unit of the... Uh, the uh, Senate Infantry, he's got his general up over here. As, oh, no, he doesn't have his general. He's got these two units. Oh, he's still got three three units of cavalry left or two. No, he's, ooh, he's got four. He's still got these guys here. General's still on the far back line there, bringing up some more of the 18-pounders. 18, 18 All four of his 18-pounders still involved. But here we go. Grenadiers de Cheval coming, blitzing across the field here. Not really sure where they're going to try and get to. I think he's trying to circle around this building. Maybe he was going to try and get in onto that howitzer, but unfortunately, does look like this unit has routed. Maybe they'll come back, 18 men. Maybe they will come back, but I really, really doubt it. Back over here on the front line, France is doing a pretty good number. You can see that France has actually bolstered up his lines over here. He's actually going to pull back these other two units of Young Guard. Third unit of Young Guard getting ready. Maybe they're going to... Ooh, wow, that could have been really bad. That If that shot didn't hit, ooh... That could have been devastating to that unit of Young Guard there. But, uh, I mean, this is getting a little close. The uh, Prussian lines are really getting decimated. But the Ottoman Empire still has a lot of forces over on this side. Still has all of his artillery there. And he still has, what, four four or five units of cavalry. So this is this is pretty close. What do we have moving over here? Grenadiers de Cheval there for France. I believe that's a unit of Ragnar's cavalry. But even, oh my god, even Prussia still has all of his dragoons. Ooh boy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They're going to try and charge in onto this eight, the uh, howitzer there. Let's see. Is the howitzer loaded? Let's see. No, they got into it. Wow. That was a long charge. That was a very long charge. I'm surprised that Prussia didn't get a shot off there. But there they go. Howitzer has been removed. So good kills there by the Grenadiers. Very nicely done. Wonder where he's going to try and go from here. We have some more of the rifles there. Another unit of the uh, the Chaternal Camel Gunners now making their way over here. Still protecting all of his artillery. Very well done there. Let's see how the Prussian front line is looking. This house is taking a lot of damage. This unit down to 37 men left. But it is a rifle unit, so they will have a bit of uh, good range there to be able to get some good shots into this French, this French artillery front line. Do have another unit of the Volkgears just kind of hanging out right there. Back over here, though, the... Ooh, wow. Dragoons are actually starting to take some losses. Down to 26, 33. This unit's already lost 12. So Prussia might want to move some of his artillery. Uh, so might want to move his cavalry, I should say. Uh, Musketeers over here now just going to start getting bombarded. Case shot coming in onto them as well as it's drifting past the houses there. Wow. All right, let's get back over here. Yeah, this is starting to... This is Prussia trying to move up again, but they are taking on three units of Young Guard, which is two units of Musketeers. We do have the Ottoman Empire pressing up some more of his rifle and infantry units. Going to start swinging around with all of his cavalry. There's five units of cavalry over here. Okay, I, I thought it was four, but it is five. Five units of cavalry over on this side. He does have actually another unit of his uh, rifles in a building right there. That might be actually very helpful. If he were to bring them forward, maybe trying to help break through this front line. But the French Young Guard holding as best as they possibly can. Still trying to hold back against these Musketeers. And here we go. Another charge coming in. Young Guard going to blast in to this unit of Musketeers. Musketeers trying to get some final shots in there. And there goes the charge into that unit. Are they charging in the middle? Not just yet. Not just yet. But he is going to easily break that unit of Musketeers. Here we go. Here comes all the Dragoons. Blitzing across the battlefield here. Where are they going to try and get into? I wonder if they're just going to try and blast right into all of this French artillery. At least maybe one or two of the units come careening across the front as the Prussian infantry. The final couple of units of the Musketeers making their way up the hill as well. Cavalry. Oh, one of the units routed. They might come back. 23 men getting into square formation. Good move there by the French Young Guard on that side. But here we go. Oh, no. Dragoons are getting in. Case shot still being fired off there. This musketeer unit needs to continue moving forward. Has to keep pressing forward. Get into the rest of this artillery there. Really need to do that or else they're just going to keep eating case shot from the side. We actually have a general staff charging out. Going to try and get into all of these dragoons. Going to try and help hold the front lines there. We have a unit of Pierre's still way back over here. Getting shots in onto the house. Going to annihilate that unit of musketeers that's in there. But this is not looking very good for the French artillery stand. Really starting to get dug into. These, this Dragoon unit is doing a pretty good job. 
Uh, these Musketeers, again, they need to follow up. They got to keep pressing in. Really need to keep pressing in there. Back over here, we actually have another unit of 6-inch howitzer there. Two units of 6-inch howitzer for the French forces. Going to try and continue getting some lobbing shots into these Dragoons. Let's see how we're doing over on this side. It does look like France, the other young guard, are falling back. Cavalry is starting to peel around. That unit of, that was a young guard unit just getting annihilated. We have two more units of old guard here. They have shifted from the far left all the way over here to the middle of the map. Going to try and get some good shots in onto this cavalry. Going to try and stop them. Young guard now going to try and, yeah, they're still trying to retreat back to their lines. Maybe going to try and form a line somewhere. But look at Prussian lines. The musketeers going to come over here. They're going to cut these young guard off. I think they are. Let's see how this is doing. There they, oh no, they're still alive. Oh my god, the dragoons are still here. Getting into all of this artillery. The general's still there as well. We did have a unit of Volt Gears. I think that was the unit here. Oh no, they charged into the building. The unit that was out there did charge into the building, so we got a little bit of melee action going on inside there. But a unit of Volt Gears did come back over here. Going to try and help tear down the rest of these Dragoons units. Here comes the Prussian general now. He's going to involve himself in the fight. This battle is getting crazy right now. Really getting crazy. Look at what's still back over here for the Ottoman Empire. He still has all four of his artillery pieces. And we still do actually have some more Prussian Dragoons sitting back here. Wow. This is this is not looking good for the French side, I must say. I mean, they do have some very strong units. Oh, what was that? Building captured. Okay, so they were victorious there. We're able to get rid of that unit of Musketeers in that building. But it's back down over here. This is still not... Actually, wait. No, no. They turned it around. They turned it around, I believe. Oh, we just had a general die. Was that the... Oh, no, that was one of the French generals did die. I thought that was an enemy general. Oh, this Prussian cavalry is still going at it. That's the French general that just died. I don't know where the other French... There he is. There's the other French general here. He's down to 10 men left. Artillery still just bombarding this hill where the French army started at. Young uh, Old guard making their way forward. Young guard here continuously trying to hold the line. Getting some good shot. Actually, that unit's already broken. Do have the Volkiers that took over that house. They are making their way back, but here comes the cavalry. Oh boy. The Chaternal Camel Gunners making their way across. Here comes some more of the Credit Infantry or the Sedit Rifles and Infantry. Two more units back over here of the Chaternal Camel Gunners there. Ooh, this could be the end. This really could be the end of the French forces. We're going to have to see. This is really close, though really close this prussian this musketeer unit is still here wow i thought they were dead the general for prussia still running around he has not died yet still just cycling around the lines he actually got rid of oh that's the eight pounder where's the uh where's the other howitzer oh no he's gonna get into the other howitzer here this is not good not looking good for france right now they are surrounded pretty much on all sides even the rear here as the general for Prussia getting a great charge in onto the back of that howitzer unit. But we do have another unit of the uh, old guard here going to try and come over here and deal with this general general staff. What is sitting all the way back there? Another seven pound. Oh, they don't have any cannons left. Okay. What do we have coming up here? These dragoons. Yes, it is. Dragoons making their way forward. The camel gunners actually pulling back. They took a lot of losses there. A lot of losses. Here comes some more of the infantry. Looks like they're getting ready to charge in. Yeah, I think they are just going to go for a charge, but they are going to suffer some losses. Young Guard switching into their square formation. Young Guard there switching into their square formation. Wow. Back over here, though, we still do have a couple more units of the uh, Gunners. I wonder if they can get some shots in onto this Young Guard to try and help break them down. But the Young Guard now switching out of their square formation. Going to be taking on this infantry unit. Going to wreck them. Wow. What is still sitting over here? What is this? Musketeer, Prussian Musketeer unit, just hanging out back over there. But the artillery for France has pretty much been annihilated. We still have two cannons here and one of the artilleries. Another, that one's actually out. So I think he lost pretty much all of his artillery here. He still has four units of the howitzers there, so that is definitely good. But the majority of his artillery crews have been annihilated. So Prussia... Hats off to Prussia getting into all of the artillery there for uh, France. Very well done. Back over here, we have a unit of Young Guard currently taking on a unit of the Chaternal Camel Gunners. Not really sure how good the uh, Camel Gunners are in melee, but we have more infantry coming over here. Second unit of Old Guard 
coming over here. They're going to charge in onto the side of this infantry unit right there. Oh, no, they're not. I thought they were going to charge in. No, they are. They are. They're coming in onto the uh, rifle unit here. So France is battling their way back into the battle. Again, the front, something in the middle here just broke. Voltgier's unit broke, but oh, there goes another unit of the uh, Camel Gunners out of here. France is really starting to dig themselves out of the hole that they had been put in by that Prussian cavalry. Prussian cavalry really did a number. I know I said it already once, but we're going to say it again. The Prussian cavalry did a solid number. Very, very well done to the Prussian player with those couple of units of Dragoons getting in and wrecking, wrecking a lot of the artillery there for France. But it does look like this battle is really turning around. You can see the balance of power has shifted back in favor of France. Now, the only problem that they're going to have is they don't have any cavalry left to try and get all the way over here. I mean, Ottomans still have all of their... Oh, he lost a cannon there. But they still have a side of one cannon. They have all four of their artillery units left. Still have cavalry sitting back over here. Prussia still has another unit over here making their way forward. That's the howitzer crew. Not really sure. I don't think they have very many kills. But wow, what a turn back around here for France. Pushing the Ottoman lines back and the Prussian lines back. We actually have a unit of musketeers currently running for their lives. Over here in the building, though, we have another unit of the rifles. They might be able to get some good shots in onto that old guard unit. Maybe the old guard come down into this building. Just get rid of them real quick. But now, yeah, France is going to fall back behind this hill, which is going to kind of cause the Ottoman Empire to have to move forward. Or we're just going to have a very long stalemate here. The old guard forming up on the top of the line here. On top of the hill, I should say. Oh, the building's getting shot at. Okay, so they're just going to shoot at the building, I guess. With whatever French, whatever France still has artillery-wise. Looks like he has turned his cannons. Nope, they're still firing way back over there. At the Ottoman Empire artillery here. Still have only killed the one cannon. Alright, let's get a little bit of a fast forward here. I want to see, did they... The rifles came out of the house. Oh, no, they didn't. That unit came back. Young guard, I'm sorry, old guard are going to fall back. So what does France still have? He's got two old guard, I believe. Two old guard, one young guard, another young guard. Voltgiers, one of the generals still alive. We have the howitzer crew there and two more units over here of the uh, artillery APA. If I'm messing that up, I do apologize for anybody who speaks French or knows how to actually say that. Uh, that unit's name, I apologize if I'm messing it up. But it uh, looks like this is going to be a bit of a drawn-out finish. But the artillery still firing away. Actually, oh, not looking good. Not looking good there. Morale is starting to really drop. The Ottoman Empire, did he lose? I think he did lose his general. I don't see his... Oh, no, there's his general right there. He's lost four men out of it so far. But we do have the artillery now. The 18-pounder artillery starting to make their way across the field here. That's a bit of a gamble. That is definitely a bit of a gamble. Going to be giving themselves wide open, basically, to these two pieces of artillery there. But he's got really no other choice. He's got to move forward. Try and get up over here to maybe get some more shots into these French units. But look at this. Small French force coming out here. Voltgiers and two units of the Young Guard making their way out and around. Only two units of infantry over here. Two units of the rifles, but they're actually getting shots. Let's, let's slow this back down again. Getting some shots over here into the Young Guard as they're trying to come around and envelop the artillery there. Do you have the other unit of Old Guard now coming down? Cavalry coming up. This is a sip of heat cavalry. Oh, they hit the stakes. Oh, that is... That is nasty. That was nasty to see those four or five horses just completely get thrown uh, head over tea kettle, if you will. I know I'm not saying that Great Britain's not on the field, but somebody, if they watch this replay, they'll get it. But here we go. Old guard charging down. Going to get into one of the 18-pounders there. Back over this side, though. These guys are kind of getting torn apart. The rifles inside the house doing a good job. Young guard trying to desperately get inside this house. Getting in there finally. Going to be taking on two units, though. It's going to be two units against two units. Let's see if we can actually get a close-up of some of the infantry fighting inside the buildings here. Let's see. Oh, they are charging in there. Look at the fighting. Wow. Oh, one of the units actually already broke. Young Guard already shattered away. We have another unit of Old Guard coming over here. 
This is down to the nitty gritty. Actually, oh, this other old guard unit getting into another unit of the 18 foot pounder. Ooh, what is still here? Where's the general? He was over here. I thought he pulled him up over here. Did he not? Did he leave the general back here? Oh, his general's dead. His general must be dead unless he's in the woods. Nope, not in the woods. Oh, no, he is. There he is. General's bodyguard routing away a unit of Volkier, so good job there. This is cutting down to the uh, this is getting down to the wire, boys. We have a unit of old guard here fight lining up, gonna try and get some shots, or are they just gonna charge in? Looks like they're just gonna charge right into that general's bodyguard. Back over here, France still trying to fight Kadine to gain control of this building. They just break? No, they didn't. Okay. Oh, no, they're killing off the general. General unit is now dying. That last unit of 18-pounder is dying. Final two units of the rifles and inside the building. I was going to say infantry, but it is just two units of rifles there. Look at the French forces. Have they just commanded this building? They have. So that's going to be it. That is going to be the end of the battle. What is still left over here? Is there anything else still running around or walking around? Do we still have combat going on? Nope, there it goes. So there is your ending losses. Ragnar here, 1473 losses, 1590 enemy killed. He did deploy 1704. Dan deploying 584, lost 230, killed 914. Wow. But look, I mean, good kills on the other side. Good kills on the other side. Hail Fury here playing as the Ottoman Empire. Okay, 1528 for him with the deployed. 1280 loss, 921 kills, and 1912 for Shaw with the Prussians. 1540 losses, 166, I'm sorry, 665 kills. I thought that's 16. But all right, guys, there you go. That is the end of the battle replay here for today. Hopefully, you guys did see in some Napoleon on the channel. Uh, also, Dan and Ragnar, I don't know if you guys wanted me to do this or not. They have their own YouTube channel. It is called Fish and Chips. Go search it out. They do Squad. They do Napoleon. They cover some really cool stuff. Get on over there. Check out their channel. Toss them a subscription. But all right, guys, that's going to be the end. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one.